ever get paged because your pipeline failed at 2 a.m. Or you probably at some point spent hours tracing bugs in Spark jobs just to keep your reports running. Most early career data engineers get stuck in this firefighting mode, building fragile jobs, hand coding validation, and hoping that nothing breaks. That is how your career and your salary get stuck. It's like being hired as a chef and spending 80% of your time cleaning up spills instead of actually cooking. If you want that senior title and pay, you need to automate the cleanup and deliver business value. And if you're a Databricks engineer, DLT is the fastest, most reliable way to level up. No magic, just proven results. Delta Live Tables, DLT, is Databricks' answer for ending that babysitting. You describe what should happen. Databricks does the heavy lifting. Data quality, orchestration, monitoring, rollback, all built in. The ROI? Engineers using DLT spend up to 40% less time debugging pipelines and deliver production features weeks faster. Most teams see at least a 60% fewer outage rate and late night instance reduction. That's more projects that actually ship and fewer lost weekends. DLT isn't a silver bullet. If your stack is outside of Databricks or you need really highly custom flows, but you're on Databricks and you want to move up, DLT is your career unlock here. How do you build DLT pipelines that make you look like a senior even if you're still early in your career? Let's break down how to go from ad hoc data janitor to DLT Automation Pro in just a few real steps. Step one, define a bronze table for your raw data. What this is, is you're ingesting all of your data as is from the source, from your storage or your streams into your Delta tables. This code that's up on the screen now uses the DLT.table decorator to create a managed bronze table in Databricks. We're reading in raw event data, unfiltered and uncleaned from a cloud location. The goal here, capture everything first so you have a complete record to clean and transform downstream. It's your single source of truth and your first real audit checkpoint. Pro tip here, don't treat DLT as the wrapper for your old PySpark. If you copy and paste code, then you're missing the magic. Lean into that declarative style. Step two, build in data quality with expectations. What this is, is you are going to block or track bad data automatically. No more hand-rolled validation scripts. On this code here, we're using the DLT.expect decorator to enforce data quality rules and we'll do that directly at the table level. The code checks that every row has a valid device ID and timestamp. Core fields for analysis are present and rows that fail these checks, they're automatically flagged or dropped. So your downstream data is always reliable. This lets you catch that bad data early and maintain trust in your pipeline without any custom validation code needed. Pro move here. Set your expectations to drop or quarantine bad rows for bulletproof data flows. If you do not use expectations and audit logs, you're shifting your technical debt from one place to the other, and you're not going to see that ROI. Step three, transform, aggregate, and serve silver and gold layers. What it is? Cleaned business ready tables for analytics, machine learning, and other downstream applications. This code on the screen aggregates validated event data to create daily activity summaries per device. We're grouping by both device ID and date, and we're counting the number of status events. This output table is easy for analytics, for dashboards and machine learning workflows to consume. No more massaging raw logs downstream. DLT shines when you treat each step as a layer, bronze, silver, gold, 
mixing business logic into that raw step, you're making life harder for yourself and your future team, and you are preventing auditability in your data. Step four, deploy, monitor, and troubleshoot the smart way. Deployment, all your code lives in notebooks or a repo. You're pushing changes with confidence. DLT tracks those versions and lets you roll back instantly. Monitoring, visual lineage, error dashboards, and real-time alerts for failed expectations or schema drift. No more guesswork. Every failure is tracked and auditable, so you learn from issues instead of firefighting the same bugs over and over. With DLT, all your code lives in notebooks or version-controlled repos. You can safely push those changes knowing that DLT tracks every version and lets you roll back if something breaks. DLT also gives you built-in visual lineage error dashboards, and real-time alerts for data quality failures or schema changes. This means you spend less time hunting bugs and more time delivering business value. You can go from the person that fixes broken jobs to the engineer who builds automated trusted data flows, the kind that ship faster and let you sleep at night soundly. That's the work that gets noticed by your leadership. And the DLT experience? It's a differentiator for getting hired and getting promoted. More companies are posting DLT experience preferred every quarter that comes out. ROI recap here, DLT can debug time by 40%, reduce downtime by 60%, and speed up deployments so you hit business deadlines. DLT lets me sleep through the night for the first time in years. Instead of patching jobs, I'm actually building cool stuff and management noticed. This was a quote from a recent mid-level data engineer that I talked to and one of the community members as part of the Gamble Data Sphere. <clears throat> Here is a really quick mistake warning. Don't just copy and paste your old PySpark DLT. Use expectations, use triggers, and be sure that you're using those lineage tools. Engineers who treat DLT as just Spark 2.0 are leaving value and career growth on the table. If you haven't yet watched this video on the top 10 Databricks mistakes that data engineers make, then you are doomed to repeat this past that I have already lived.